Pete, thanks for taking the time to speak to us. Obviously a difficult day for the football club, part in company with, with Liam Manning um, and his coaching team. First and foremost, your, your, your thoughts uh, and reaction to that. A sad day. Um, really liked Liam M. Thought he did a fantastic job for us last year. Um, liked what he stood for, liked the way he represented the club. Um, it's gone wrong this year. Um, I, I, you know, I don't think he's he, uh, you know, solely to blame. I think we're all to blame. Um, obviously, he takes the can as, as the person most in charge of what happens, picking the team, picking the shapes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but um, you know, we've got Liam this meeting, who will now uh, be looking at the process of how we go forward. And you know what I'm like? I, we can't look backwards. We've got to look forwards. None of us want to be where we are, but we are where we are, and we have to do something about it. We are where we are. It, it's not what any of us imagined or, or expected of the season, although we were aware that there was going to be some change from last season, given the, the turnover. But no one expects to be where we are. And as you say, we need to do something about it because we can't afford to, to let this get any worse, can we? Yeah, well, we've identified that we all need a new voice. And, uh, and, and, and obviously, we've got January. Now, I, I don't want to over-hope in January. It's a lot harder recruiting the right players um, when you're at the bottom of the table rather than the top of the table. Um, so we've got to get our heads around that. Uh, but there's no doubt we need to make some changes and uh, you know we've got to give ourselves an absolute fighting chance and uh, and uh, whoever takes over is going to have to take that mantle on uh, and have the spirit and the leadership uh, to take us through it um, you know it's not it's not been a good season all the way around when when, when I look back at it uh, but that's not through intent hasn't been on and off the pitch um, and I hope you don't mind me you bring it up that there is frustration and, and discontent from supporters with you know, not only the football which we've addressed with, with this decision and, and obviously we'll look to, to change with the new manager that, that Liam Sweeting goes and appoints for us um, but off the pitch a lot of frustration with, with stuff that's gone on this year um, do you understand the fans frustration and, and I suppose the question well, for me is what, what's the, the club trying to do about it the, 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 oh, the terrible thing is that I actually do get it Anthony um, you know, there's, there's there's so many things, that, little things as well as big things. And it all adds up to just not enjoying it like you used to. Um, I don't enjoy it like I used to either at the moment. Now, obviously, results, have, a, have a, they play a part in that. There's no doubt about that. You put up with a lot worse if you're winning than you'd be prepared to when you're losing. But there are fundamentals that, uh, that we've tried to change this year uh, and, and they haven't gone down well. And, and I could sit here and justify it. And I've you know, this reason and we need to get that income and we need to do that right because we've got to be sustainable and co uh, I could go on forever. Um, but at the end of the day, um, the bottom line is we've got to try and make people more comfortable at the stadium, believing in what we're doing, um, enjoying the football. And, and, and if we don't get the points, at least, at least having a memorable day and, and and I think we're failing on a lot of those counts at the moment so you know now it's not because we want to fail I, I really want to make that point um, you know and I could, I could give you excuses staffing you know can't get the people can't do it in the right way I, I could go on forever I mean myself changing things um, you know so you don't get the discount here and you don't get that you know but there were awful reasons um, and 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 the, the, the trouble is the summation of all that makes people think that we're not caring as a football club about them and, and the trouble is Anthony I need everybody more than ever you know we're in a state now uh, for whatever reasons uh, you know and everybody can point the finger everywhere and ultimately I have to take the responsibility for that um, but I need everybody because you know at the end of the day, this is all about our football club. And our football club is having an absolutely miserable season in a place where we don't want to be. And one of the only ways out of this is for our supporters to get behind whatever happens, give the new manager a really proper Milton Keynes welcome, put the atmosphere back as much as they can into trying to help us get out of the mess. And, and in the meantime, we're going to do everything we can to fix the little bits that are wrong. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to do that. We're starting with things like inviting everybody into the ballroom for, for, for Christmas, for Boxing Day's game as a, as a Christmas celebration and having events and stuff going on and, and getting the vibe back uh, before the game. And, and on the 14th, we're, we're going to let everybody bring a friend, um, every season ticket holder to bring someone else. So, so I'm, I'm trying to do little things that can, can just, you know, 
allow people to understand that absolutely I care about what they think, absolutely I'm upset how upset they are, and, and, and absolutely didn't think for a second that we'd be in this position, given what we've been able to achieve over the last couple of years, where we all thought we're going in the right direction. But it's football, and it just comes and catches you out, and, and the only way through it is that we all stick together. Um, so I've got the supporters board meeting tomorrow, look at the timing for that. That's the new organisation, it isn't just the supporters association or Don's Action or any of the groups that we work with all the time. That, that, that's people that you can find out on the website who they are and, and go and talk to them about things that they want to raise directly with us. And we will take all of those things on board and where we can make a difference and can actually do something we will. Because it does matter to us. At the end of the day, this is Milton Keynes' football club. Uh, it's your football club, you know. Um, you know, if, if we could find somebody with a load more money than me, it wouldn't be my football club anymore, would it? But I'm here and real, and I have at least made sure that we're here always next year and that we pay our bills and that the players want to sign to us and, and all of that stuff. So, you know, for all the things I might have got wrong, and, and again this year it might have got wrong, you know, I, I've seen other clubs go through some, somewhat worse when they don't know what's going on. And, and ultimately, we've got to find a better way of doing it completely. And that's something that hopefully over the next few years, um, we'll be able to find a way of doing that because my dream is still that Milton Keynes is a big football club and everything we do is to try and make it that. You touched on the fact that you could sit here all day going, going through the reasons. I could sit here all day and go through the list of uh, frustrations and, and concerns that the fans have. But I suppose ultimately what they'd probably want to hear from you today, and I think you've started to address that, is that the club recognises it and he's trying to do something about it, and on and off the pitch, yeah, no, realising I mean, we need to be better. I'll, I'll go even more. I mean, I, I am sorry that, that we're like, like this, but I absolutely didn't plan for it. I think that's, that, that, that's what's more hurtful, is that, that like, people think I don't care, or like, you know, I'm doing it on purpose because uh, you know, I'm trying to fleece everything. I can. I'm not doing any of that. I'm really trying to find ways of, of trying to be successful because that's why that's why we're in it that's why we're in it. and until i can find somebody that we could all believe could do a better job than me and there's definitely going to be somebody out there but we've all got to be able to sit, search them on the internet know who they are and, and and you know they might be able to do it better but until then the big thing I bring, I do bring sustainability, all the other stuff that we have to do that winds everybody up uh, because it's not the football. It's all to help the football. Ultimately, that's where all the money comes from. So, you know, there's no magic box and, 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 and that's what I'm, you know, sad that I can't bring to the table because if I had put my time into, you know, having a, a pharmaceutical company or something, look what we'd be able to do now. Um, but we're not there. And, and until we find somebody that is in those kind of positions, you know, we've, we've got to do the best that we can. And the best that we can isn't me doing something or even Liam Sweeting or even the new manager or even the player. It's all of us. And that's more than ever. It's the supporters. So, yeah, I'm sorry, guys, that we're where we are. I really, really, really didn't expect it to be here. We're spending a load more money this year than last year. That's the other irony. But again, what you keep learning is you don't always get the best because you spent more. You know, it's the second time I've done it and, and it's not worked either time. So maybe we've got to keep being careful because that keeps us sustainable. But the biggest thing we need is you guys coming in and cheering the, the team on and getting the atmosphere the best that we can have it. And it's looking forward, isn't it? You, you start the interview with it. There's, there's no point looking back. What's happened has happened and, and looking forward. And, you know, with change comes opportunity. There's an opportunity now for, for, for you know, the first team to recruit a new head coach to take us forward and an opportunity as a football club for, to draw a line in the sand in, in what's happened so far this season and start looking, looking forward and, and hopefully this becomes a bit of a turning point. Well, I, there's no doubt, I can't pretend that I'm not completely disappointed and gutted where we are and I, on a number of levels. I mean, we haven't even touched on Castor. I'm looking at your coat there and seeing the words. And, and I know why we did that. We wanted the best brand that we could have for, for, for our club and for Milton Keynes um, and to represent what we're about, you know, aspiring, you know, proper. Um, trouble is we chose them at a time when, like, everybody suddenly chose them and they didn't cope. And again, when you add the China, I mean, they've got all their excuses as well. Look, I'm giving them one more year. Everyone will love the shirts next year. I can guarantee that. We've been, well, yeah, we've done, there's an interesting twist, but they're very conservative in that sense. Um, and let's give them a year because 
everything went wrong for a lot of businesses this year. You know, well, we're feeling that. You know, you can't get the side. We could all go on forever. I'm not going to do that in this interview. I, I, what I want to make clear is that I do get it. I do hear what everybody's saying. I'm not living in a bunker. Um, and I absolutely still care about this football club and I want us all to do our best for it.